Welcome back, everyone. It's Monday again. Welcome to the Monday Mindset. I'm Tracy Rader, and I'm here with Kevin DeShazo, really the star Kevin of the show. That's right. Kevin, it is Monday again already. Um, tell me about your weekend. Well, first, it's your birthday. <laughs> it is my birthday. And so we need to take a second. I wish I had organized this and had like some big cake being rolled in and party and candles and cannons, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but for those who don't know, Tracy, like she is the queen of giant. If anything happens, if anything is working, um, if anything is moving forward, it's because Tracy is involved in it. Uh, she, she is, I mean, my wife used to work for giant years ago, giant, uh, early, early, early days of giant. And they always had a phrase used called the maker of happen. And, and Tracy is the maker of happen. So, uh, if you're listening, be sure to drop a happy birthday in the comments, send her a kind note. Um, 22 well, years old, quite a day. Quite right. a day. Well, I'm not there. I don't mind sharing my age. I don't know why. I'm a half a century old people. When you put it like that, there's something about that. Uh, 50 years old a day. So um, anyway, I'm very blessed. Thank you. Uh, so thanks. Um, hi, Chris uh, from Monterey, California. And the rest of you, I see tons of people here today on the giant platform. Some of you on LinkedIn, some on Facebook. And we always Thank you for taking time out. I know that I look forward to this day because, uh, Kevin, you always encourage me just to keep my mindset straight in the right direction. I know from you that, um, you know, actions, taking steps in the right direction just changes our actions, which changes our future. And so I thank you for all that you've taught me along the way. And just so all of you know who are watching, uh, what we usually do with our live streams, if you can't make it live, which we always love for you to make it live because we love to chat with you. We love to hear your questions and your input, but we take those, we archive them and they're on our platform. So if you're coming in from social media other than our platform, sign up for a free account. It is free. It's giant.tv slash free account, or you could go to uh, even Kevin's, which is uh, slash, tell me, Kevin, I always forget. Uh, giant.tv slash culture wins. Culture wins. Either way, you can get a free account. And what that does is allow you to open up tons of content. And so all of these archives are set, are these live streams are archived, they're saved, and you can go watch them there. But then I usually make them into some sort of a series so you can really get to them easily. And so we've just uh, put the Monday mindsets on um, our Ascend for free. And so that's a series now under the newest series. When you click on that row, you'll see it in there when you go to view all. And it's called building a healthy mindset is just kind of how we renamed it. So we'd love for you to to go back and watch the ones that you've missed. So oh, Laura Mears just said happy birthday. I appreciate that. Thank you all. You're very kind. So tell me, Kevin, what are we going to learn today? Well, it, it relates to what you just said. And so for those of you, again, who, who may not be on our platform, you have the chance to get on a world-class leader development platform to invest in yourself, right? To invest in your mindset, to invest in your leadership skills, to invest in your self-awareness um, if you choose to do it, right? We always, we like, we, we are a people, we as a people like to make excuses. Oh, I don't have enough time. I'm too busy. I don't have enough money. I don't have fill in the blank. Um, and so with our platform, we've tried to, to eliminate the excuses. Uh, we've made it free. Now you just have to decide, do you actually want to get better? Do you want to put in the work? Do you want to invest in yourself? And, and that platform is a great way to do it with content used by some of the top organizations around the globe. So this is not a sales pitch because it's free. We're, we're not selling you anything. We're, we're, we're genuinely trying to serve you and help you get better. So go create that free account, start working through the content, um, get your friends on it, have them work through the content as well. But what that's doing is making an investment in you. And, you know, I'm not a I'm not a financial market guy, but I do understand compound interest. Mm -hmm. Right. And compound interest. If, if you if you make interest on an investment, you can reinvest that that interest and it compounds over time. It's actually a really powerful way to grow wealth um, in a really simple way without starting with very much over time. That that small investment can become a significant investment because of the compounding interest, reinvesting time over time over time. And James Clear, I've talked about this book at this point, probably a hundred times on the Monday Mindset, but his book, Atomic Habits, he has this great quote. I'm gonna read it off my phone so that I don't butcher it. He said, habits are the compound interest of self-improvement. A small habit, when repeated consistently, grows into something significant. 
And so that's what I want us to think about with our mindset. So we're, we're kind of calling this, this, uh, this episode today, return on mindset, right? The investments that you're making in your mindset are bringing some form of return. And what is that return? Well, look at your reality. Look at the way that you're showing up. Look at the way that you think. Look at the way that you communicate. Look at the decisions that you make. Those are the reality that your mindset is creating. That's the return on your mindset. And so if, you're, if your current reality is anxiety or frustration or anger or bitterness or lack of peace, well, that's the return on the investment that you've made into your mindset up to this point. Don't, don't hear that as shame. Don't hear that as judgment. It's just being honest with where we currently are. And it's easy to get bitter. Like, well, I don't, I don't have time or I can't. I wish I would have started a year ago or two years ago or 10 years ago. Great. Start today. Right. It's, it's never too late to start getting better. And so to think about what would the what would the return on investment for your mindset be today if you had started working on it this time a year ago? What would it be if you would started working on it six months ago? What would the return on investment of your mindset be if you just started working on it a week ago? Right. You would already be making returns. You would already be making gains because that's something that actually grows. And so we. What are you investing your mindset in? What are you investing your time in? What are you investing your habits in? And what kind of fruit are they producing? What kind of return are they producing? You can watch two hours of Netflix every night. Again, no shame. I like Netflix. And there is some return on that investment for maybe an episode, right? I'll have, I'll re relax a little bit, recharge. But if I'm watching three or four or five episodes, well, that return diminishes. I'm no longer getting any real value. Uh, I'm actually getting getting worse. And so we have to look at, at where we're spending our time. Are you spending your things on time that give you a good return on things that stir up joy, things that stir up peace, things that stir up self-awareness and confidence and security that remove insecurity and ego and lack of self-preservation? What are your what are your habits as it relates to your mindset and what's the return? Because it will be one of the greatest returns that you can get if you invest in the right things. So again, the platform, that's an investment in your mindset. The return on that investment will be significant if you do the work. And we have story after story after story of leaders, of teams, of organizations, of families who have been changed not by us, not by the content, but by them doing the work of working through the content and reflecting on the content and putting what they're learning from the content into practice. And they say, wait a minute, I have, I have less drama on my team. And I have, we have less issues that we're having to deal with. We're actually moving at a faster pace. We're getting things done in the middle of a pandemic. We're growing in the middle of stress. I'm at peace. I'm clear. I'm confident. I'm moving us forward. That doesn't happen on accident. All right. So to, to, to realize what, what the return is on the investment of your habits toward your mindset, what are you doing to build an invincible mindset? What are you doing to build a healthy mindset? If you don't like where you are, what are you going to do? To change it right you have the power within you to change your mindset you have the power within you to change the things that you spend your time on it's up to you i can't give you a better mindset tracy can't give you a better mindset your boss your team your spouse nobody can do the work except you so when we can eliminate excuses eliminate blame and start to take ownership and say wait a minute i spend an hour on netflix a day i spend two hours on instagram a day i spend an hour on facebook a day what's that doing to my mindset and what's the alternative? You know, in the five gear series, we talk a lot about this idea of trading up, right? So let's say uh, you're driving into the office. Me, I, I work in the sports world. Uh, I love sports talk radio, but then when I really get down to it, sports talk radio isn't that healthy for my mindset. When I listen to sports radio, it makes me angry. It makes me anxious because all they're trying to, they're, they're, they're mad at everyone, right? They want everyone fired. They want coaches fired, players fired, players traded. And that's just kind of their stick, right? They, they just get angry and get fired up because that gets people listening. Well, if I'm listening to that on the drive into the office, I don't get out of the car with a mindset that's at peace, with a mindset that's ready for the day. I walk in with a mindset that's kind of anxious and on edge and look into battle a little bit. Well, that was not a healthy return on investment for my mindset. Well, what happens if I trade up? So instead of sports talk radio, what if I listen to a podcast? What if I listen to music that put me in a better mood? Now, what, what are the things that you can do to trade up, to invest in a better way into your mindset and then start to do those things. And, th and they're not real sexy things, right? Listening to a podcast versus sports talk radio. It's, it's easy to convince yourself. That's not that big of a deal. I mean, really just 
just listening to a podcast, like that's really going to change, change things. Yes, it will. I remember years ago, uh, I was really into cycling and, and I was working in the corporate world. My boss rode bikes, a couple of guys in the office. And so they, they talked me into um, cycling. I was like, awesome. Let's go. Got a bike. And these guys have been doing it for a couple of years. They were stronger than I was, but they were always a good quarter mile to a half mile ahead of me. And I thought, this is ridiculous. Like, I know they're stronger than I am, but they're not that much better than I am. Well, then one day I went to go get a new bike. And that, they kept pushing, like, man, you need a different bike. You need a different bike. So I just got an entry level bike. And for me, that was that was good enough. And they said, no, you need a new bike. And so I go in and I asked the guy, I said, is this really going to make a difference? He said, what do you have right now? I said, I, here's the bike. Here's what I'm looking at. He said, night and day. I said, are you serious? Because because they, they don't look that different. They don't appear to be that different. There's just a couple little tweaks here and there that makes a bike, one bike better than another bike, at least at the level that, that I was competing at or, or um, not even competing, just level I was riding at. So I said, just take it out, take it out for a weekend and, and bring it back. Let me know what you think. Same, same guys, same hills, right? Same, same area we would always ride in. All of a sudden I'm keeping up with them. One change made a significant difference in my performance. Same thing's true with our mindset. What are the one, what's the one thing you're going to change that you're going to trade up to invest in something that gives you a better return on your mindset? What can you do this week to build, to, to have that compound interest that's, that's healthy, that's, that's giving you confidence, that's giving you humility, that's giving you peace, that's giving you purpose, that's allowing you to block out the distractions of the world and focus on what actually needs to be done. Right? Our, our habits compound, our mindset compounds for good or bad. And we've got to be honest about our current actions and where we're at and say, if I want to get better, if I want to be better, that demands something different of me. That demands a better investment of my time, just like you would want a better investment on your money or anything else in your life. You have to view your mindset as an investment. How are you going to invest in the things that help you grow and grow significantly over time? Tracy, what do you, what do you think? What are your thoughts on that? Lots of good stuff there. Um, I'm thinking of since it's the new year, and I, I do this. I look at the books I'm reading, the music I'm listening to, the people I'm surrounding myself with, my calendar, mm -hmm. and my textbook. So five things. And if you need to, I would say to go ahead and write them down, write those five down and start listing what books are you reading and how is that helping your mindset in a good direction? Mm -hmm. And if so, keep reading those types of books. If you're seeing that they're negative, that they're bringing you down, that they're making you angry, you mentioned peace. If you're not feeling peace in your life, look at those five things and start listing them and then go through and start mar marking off the ones that you know are negative, that are not helping your mindset and do away with those and start replacing those. Like you say, trade up music, same thing. What you're listening to in the radio on your way to work, same thing. Look at your checkbook, not just your checkbook, but your swiping your credit card. Look at whatever it is that you show your finances on and go, what am I putting my money in? You know, I mean, I've got friends that are, are spending their money and their time on great things. They're investing in other people, uh, ministries that they believe in or nonprofit organizations. I mean, that changes your mindset. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just just an idea. Take those five things and see if you can kind of change, tweak your mindset through those five things. And then we actually have a uh, question comment here from Clinton. He says, I'm a glass half empty kind of a guy. Always have been. It's just habit. I'm trying to change, but it's really hard. Can you give me some practical tips? Which those were some. Kevin's mentioned some. Anything else you can give on, the, on that? Uh, I'm going to say, Clinton, you're not a, gl a glass half empty guy. You've been conditioned to believe that. You're not a glass half empty guy. You're not a negative guy. Um, don't know you, but I just don't, I don't believe that, right? You've, you've been somehow life and, and things happen, right? We all, we all get to that place that again, don't hear that as shame or judgment, but you you got to talk better to yourself. You're not a glass half empty guy. Now you may be um, a guardian like Tracy who, who sees things with a critical eye. Mm -hmm. I would not get like Tra Tracy and I are very, we're, we're pretty opposite. Like in terms of personality, if you know giant language, um, I'm a connector, she's a guardian. So we're, we're on polar, uh, polar opposite ends of the personality spectrum. I wouldn't consider Tracy negative or glass half empty at all. Uh, her critiques make things better. 
is, is how I view it. Now for years, I didn't, not Tracy, I didn't know Tracy, but people with that personality, people who are critiquing, I would label them as critics. I would label them as negative. And so Clinton, maybe people in your life have done that. And I would just reject that and say that that's not true. We need your critique. We need the way that you see the world because you, you make us better. Um, you make us make better decisions. Um, now how that communicate is communicated matters, right? You want to make sure you're critiquing without criticizing. Um, but, but I, I think how you think about yourself, um, shapes how you show up, right? If you think, if you think negative about yourself, you're going to live in, into that negativity, into that negative reality. If you think better about yourself, you think positive about yourself, you're going to live into that reality. doesn't mean be delusional, right? You need, we need to know our strengths and our weaknesses. Um, but I, I think Clinton, I would, I would write down the things that you're really good at, write down the things that you add value in to stir up some of that confidence. Um, and, and it's like, no, I, I, I made this project better because I saw an error in, in a direction we were going, or I found a hole in this, this, um, you know, analysis that we were doing. And if I hadn't done that, who knows where that project would have ended up. So I think one is you, you need to take some steps to like, to, to be more positive towards yourself and see your, see, see your critiques as strengths, not as weaknesses. Um, but I think when it comes to, to your mindset, it's not, a, it's not a fake positivity thing, right? Like that's not, that's not it. And, and you're, we're not going to flip overnight. So I think give yourself some grace in the process. Um, so right now it's, as I look at my watch, it is January. I don't know what date it is. January 11th. Most of us on this call, um, maybe all of us have already failed at our new year's resolutions, <laughs> right? So it's easy to beat yourself up over that. Oh, 11 days in, I couldn't even do it. Why even keep going? Why even keep trying? No, it's a, it's a process. So we're about progress. We're not about perfection. And so to have a vision, Clinton, of what you with a healthy mindset looks like, if you had a healthy mindset, how would that change the way that you showed up? How would you talk to those on your team? How would you interact with friends and family? Get that vision of you. It's okay. Well, if I, I, I want to get there someday, not, not today, right? Um, give, give yourself some time. I want to get there someday. What does that require of me today? What am I going to change today to help that version of me become true, become, become the real version of me, not just this dream, hope, goal version of me? Um, and, and then start doing those things. So again, kind of what Tracy mentioned, I love kind of going through those five areas, but the, the, change your inputs, listen to better voices. If you're listening to voices, and this is not Clinton, this is all of us. If you're listening to voices and these could be people in your life, again, it could be music that you listen to, shows that you watch, uh, books that you read. If the, if the voices that you're listening to are holding you down, listen to better voices. You need to be listening to voices who are speaking life in you, who will speak truth, right? Who will hold you accountable, who will, who will not let you skate by on weaknesses or issues, but listen to voices that, that are shaping you into who you should become, mm -hmm. right? Not maybe who you were, not maybe who they don't want you to be. Like listen to voices that help you unlock your potential. Listen to voices that are actually speaking truth, not voices that are holding you back. Those are voices that are just lies. And it could be the voices in your own head. Uh, I know for me, that's always an issue, right? Like what, what voice am I going to choose to believe? And if I'm believing negative voices, then I'm going to have a negative impact. That, that's just reality. Um, and so start to listen to better voices. Mm. That's great. Yeah. Just to mention those five again, someone asked, um, and I should, I should include movies that, as well, but books, music, finances, people, and calendar. I guess you could say entertainment in general, what entertainment you're mm -hmm. kind of uh, honing in on. Um, and I would say to, to what was his name again? Um, Clinton, Clinton. Clinton. Sorry. You know, we all get kind of a reputation. And if you don't know what your reputation is, just ask a friend of yours. They know what your reputation is. <laughs> you're, you're, gosh, you're that joyful person, or you're that moody person, or you're that generous person or and so clinton you may have just given yourself a reputation and you're really not like kevin said a, a glass half uh, empty person and at any point you can change your reputation even if if you've established one and so you're not that guy you're not that guy yeah. so yeah that's great and, kevin and i think too kind of with all that is is there's a, a famous quote or phrase or saying or idea that you know, you are the, you are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I think to really, really think about who you're spending time with, what are their habits? What's the fruit of their, the way they're living, right? Are they at peace? Are they happy? Are they making an impact? And, and you know, hopefully you guys get it at this point. Like when we talk about impact and success, we're not talking about, are they the CEO of a company? Are they making millions of dollars a year? Like, but are they people that you would want to be like? 
right? Is the way their life is going like, no, I'd want that in my life. I'd want to have a family that operates that way, um, a team that operates that way. I'd, I'd want to be that kind of leader. Are they someone that you would want to follow? Um, and if the people you're around are not people that you would consistently want to follow or model your life after, then it, then it might be time to make make some hard changes, make some hard decisions. And, and I will say this, like growth requires making hard decisions. Mm. Like all this stuff about mindset, like if you run away from challenge, you're, you're never going to get better. It's that challenge that will make you better, depending on how you choose to show up in the midst of it. Uh, and so hopefully you've you've not heard over the last few months as we've done this series, like none of this is easy. I actually had a message um, last week saying, how do you do this all the time? Like, I don't do it all the time. <laughs> like if I've given off the impression like that I'm perfect when it comes to mindset, please know that is that is the furthest thing from the truth. Most of the things that I'm sharing and that we're sharing are out of our own failures and learnings and lessons. Um, it's things that I'm learning along the way, things that I've dropped the ball on along the way um, that I'm hoping are lessons that other people can learn from and not repeat those same mistakes that, that I've made. Mm -hmm. uh, I have I have off days. I have down days. Um, but I but I have learned one thing I will say that I do well is I've learned to not let those bad days become bad weeks, become bad months, become bad years. I've been able to not compartmentalize, but see a bad day for what it is and show up better the next day. And so this is this is all a process and we're imperfect and it's it's difficult. That's great. Yeah. Derek has a uh, recommendation of a book. He's reading Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. Yep. An yep. Top, top five. Top that five awesome. book for me. Yeah. I don't know that book. So thank you, Derek. That's it's, great. That, that one's a great one by Ryan Holiday. Um, and Ego is the Enemy. So two of his books are two of my probably top five books that I've ever read. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a lot of it's kind of rooted in it's it's kind of repackaging stoicism for, for the modern day. But it kind of allows you to see obstacles and challenges for, for what they are. Um, it's really, really good book. That's great. You know, this is a great example. When you surround yourself, when you're on a, a, mm -hmm. a program like this and people are feeding you things to make you better, that's what you want to be around, right? You want those right. that are speaking life into you and speaking growth into you. That's who you surround yourself. So I love that. Thanks, Derek. And, and you, which is another great point. It's really hard to get better alone. Mm. It's, it's hard. And so that's why you show up to these things. Cause, and, and because then we also believe the lie that we are alone, right? If, if, if you're the only one on your team, it's like, man, things need to change. Maybe it's me. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe I'll be the change. I'll be the catalyst. I'll do the work to get better. It's hard to do that alone. And I totally get it, but also realize you're not alone. That's right. There's always a community. If nothing else, this community, there's always a community of people who are trying to get better. And so find, find those people, whether it's in person or online, Mm -hmm. Again, in the chats here, uh, but there are always people who are are trying to get better if you look for them. Mm -hmm.